Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's monarch for the past 70 years, has died at age 96. This woman lived while she was alive. And separate and apart from the baseless platitudes that will be coming from our politicians in light of her death. I'm sure we'll all agree that the Queen was a portrait of dignity in how she conducted the affairs of state and she remains an exemplar in leadership. I can honestly speak for most Jamaicans when I say We do not care. But what media is and what media does, we are going to try to get some sort of forced reactions from our fellow Jamaicans. Well, I feel so sad in a man. And a nice lady. And we like how she walk, we like how she talk. And I, I miss her and I feel it. So life goes on. It just said, all we have to do is just bury her. I hope she repent and serve the Lord before she go. She'll live even past the time. Her death, to me, you know, she could have lived for the next 20 years. She could have lived for see, but she just gone and just say go. And you know, to lose her like this now, it leave back her in pack and we know we're not going to replace her, cannot replace her. With her passing comes many constitutional change. Chief Justice Brian Sykes have issued an advisory that all court proceedings conducted in the name of the Queen must now be done in the name of the King. King Charles is now the new head of state in Jamaica. Yes, people, that's independence for you. Nobody asked, but I would like to add my two cents to the possibility of what this could bring. Now that the Queen has died, it releases us of any sentimentality we may have left towards her, which may have hindered us transitioning from a constitutional monarch to a republic state. It means that we can now aggressively look at Jamaica towards becoming a republic rather than accepting this old man as our new head of state. For all the persons that are grieving the Queen's passing, allow yourself to grieve because this, like it or not, is a pivotal moment in history, especially for those who aren't grieving her.